what's the next catalyst here and, and why should it just be about an ETF? Because you've been doing this a long time. You weren't doing it for the ETF. Yeah, so uh, that's what I love about markets is news comes out and some people take things really positively and make a big deal out of them and some people don't. In the last uh, three or four business days, we've had two pieces of news. The ETF being rejected for the fifth time, that doesn't seem like it's very interesting to me. But on Friday, the parent company of the New York Stock Exchange, which also owns $42 billion worth of other exchanges, launched a cryptocurrency exchange called Bakht. So these exchanges are important because uh, the crypto exchanges are going to allow people to enter the market. And so, like I said, the ETF is nice because the institutional money will be able to come in. But as you have more players that enter this market to open up their own exchanges, um, it's just going to make it easier for the general public and also just for regulators because the longer these exchanges stay open without issues, I do believe the regulators will be more comfortable and allow... Uh, hopefully, you know, custodian accounts to be set up so that people can take advantage of this. Um, but like I said, this ETF news is getting overblown and it's just a bunch of hype. I wouldn't worry about it. I would be buying these dips and taking advantage of the low price of cryptos. Um, I'm still just staying in the top 10. I'm not really looking at any side projects. I feel like that's something you can do in a bull market. In a bear market, you just want to stay in the top 10 and kind of just hold on for dear life and you know take advantage of these dips uh, if your average buy is 8,000 try to make it 7,000 if your average buy is 7,000 just try to keep pushing down your average buy and holding and I do believe this market will recover but uh, it's overblown with the ETF story um, let me know what you guys think and I will talk to you soon